Councilwoman. I'm glad I was able to stop you. I wanted to congratulate you on your first speech to the Noble Council. Indeed, your passion for the subject did come across in your delivery. In all my years as head councilman, I don't think I've seen a single member brave enough to deliver such strong rhetoric on their first day. You continue to prove my decision to elevate you to nobility was a wise one. However, I do wish to speak to you about the subject of your address. Steelgate prides itself as a bastion of science and innovation. In a world set back centuries from what it once was, we alone stand as a refuge for progress. Your scientific achievements do warrant you getting a say on this council, and your passion is appreciated. But I would feel guilty if I didn't warn you that some of the matters you brought up did rustle some feathers among the more senior nobility. <laughs> yes, you are as perceptive as they say. Your dogmatic comments about slavery and its abolishment did not go unnoticed. I do see why you would think that way, but you must see things from the perspective of the Council. In order for our society to continue thriving, there needs to be order. Those with skill and ability, like yourself, should offer those talents for the betterment of everyone. Those whose actions become a detriment to our society should learn their place. I think you know precisely what I mean. Steelgate is a place unlike any other. A bastion of science, unencumbered by political squabble caused by social justice. As soon as we start concerning ourselves with the problems of those who contribute nothing to our society, criminals and other dishonest characters, we lose our purpose as a city. As unsavory as you think it to be, the current arrangement ensures that even the lowest of the low can contribute in their own simple way. My apologies for cutting you off, but allow me to be frank with you for a moment, Councilwoman. I would strongly advise you avoid the subject of abolishing slavery in all future council meetings, if for nothing else, to protect the unity of the Noble Council. Then there is also the matter of your slave, Warren the Gladiator. There have been reports that he's been seen around Steelgate and the Undercity, unattended, and even more disturbingly, uncollared. When we gifted Warren to you, it was with the understanding that you would make an example of him. Warren has made a habit of forgetting his place with previous masters. More recently, he went as far as raising a hand to a noble who owned him prior to you. For him to walk around as if nothing has happened. It is very necessary, Councilwoman. Unfortunately, it is not a request. A slave walking around uninhibited is illegal. Warren's visits to the Undercity must end, and he must wear his collar at all times. If he does not, we will know. Yes, gentlemen, I'll be right with you. You have a bright future ahead of you, Councilwoman. Your hard work has been noticed and rewarded. It would be a tragedy for all that progress to be undone because of your dangerous perspective. Good day, Your Grace. I mean, it's me. Who am I gonna tell? Are you really gonna follow that stupid rule? C 
Come on, what was it? Did you mess up one of your science demonstrations? Did you get on stage and forget to carry the one? <laughs> alright, alright, fine. If you don't want to say, then you don't have to say. It's a shame, though. Whatever your speech was, I know you spent a long time preparing for it. I'm sorry it didn't work out. Hey, you know what's gonna help you forget? What? Don't tell me you forgot. <laughs> uh, movie night? Alright, for real, you're way too wrapped up in this. Come. Nope, 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 no plants, no plants. This way. <clears throat> hey, whatever happened, I'm sure it's not that bad. I told you, dealing with the nobles is gonna take some learning. You'll get him next time. So, what are we watching? Haha, <laughs> yeah, funny. Nothing about me, please. Hey, why don't we watch that one movie you were telling me about? The new one. Yeah, I think it's like a historical movie? Mm-hmm, the one with that new girl who got casted. Alright. Man, I thought you guys would never stop running. Say what you will about the end of the world. It sure is hell with the people in the shade. Hey, you good? But now that that's over with, I'm gonna need you all to get on your Nah, it's just normally now. you lay a bit closer to me, that's all. Good. You sure there's nothing wrong? Now that I've got your attention, Okay. Well. <laughs> Why are you sitting over there? Get over here and hold me like you normally do. <laughs> what are you acting so embarrassed for? <sighs> okay. Class is in session. First lesson of surviving the nobility. Do not be shy. Okay? You gotta know what you want, and then don't be afraid to ask for it. For example, will you come over here and cuddle with me? I enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're right. This is pretty good casting. That girl was a good choice. Oh, hey, before I forget, I might be a little late picking up those potion ingredients tomorrow. Yeah, I was planning on stopping by the Undercity on my way back. I was going to meet up with someone. Uh, my younger brother. I mean, I should be back way before you're ready to use the ingredients, so it shouldn't really matter anyway. Wait, what? Is there something else you need me to do? I mean, I'm sure I could get it done while I'm out. Just let me know what it is. Wait. What do you mean I can't go out? Cupcake, you're scaring me. What's wrong? Wait. Why? What did I do? If I didn't do anything, that... Look, whatever it was, I'm sorry. I thought you said you didn't want me to wear it. What changed? Well? Wait. Don't answer that. Someone spoke to you, didn't they? Someone from the Noble Council. Who was it? The head councilman. Of course it was. Fine. Give me the stupid collar. Nope. Just stop. You don't have to explain anything, okay? You've got a career to protect. I get it. Master, seriously. Stop. No, I'm not upset. I was prepared for it. Look, you're not the first who's changed their mind, okay? I'm used to it. Nah, you can finish up the movie. I'm gonna go take a walk. Don't wait up. I might be out a while. Right. Under city's off limits. I know. Morning, Cupcake. Hope you
you got some good sleep? Nah, I'm totally fine. You? Good to hear. Anyway, I did what you asked. Yeah, I just decided to get started early. Come, take a look. All the potions are sorted in alphabetical order, just like you said. I also went through your incredibly long, incredibly boring book about plant chemistry and memorized most of those recipes. And here, these are all the notes that I took on what your plants did once I applied the potions, which was <sighs> mostly nothing, except for this one. It turned red and then purple. Not much else other than that. Seriously, Cupcake, how do you do this all day? <sighs> you better enjoy it. Four hours into watching plants do nothing, and I was tempted to just eat the most poisonous wine. <sighs> Seriously, though. I'm actually kind of nice with this stuff. Low-key, I think I should have been a scientist in another life. What? Something wrong? Uh, what do you mean there's a few missing? Yeah, I'm completely sure. This is all the apothecary gave me. Whoa, whoa, chill out. Can't you just go get more? Well, if it's so rare, how did you manage to get a hold of it? Look, I I'm sure the potion brewer just made a mistake. Even if you have been working with her for years, that doesn't mean people can't slip up every now and then. Well, that's a lot of confidence you're placing in her. Fine, so what do you think? Someone stole it? Well, if those ingredients are as rare and valuable as you say, I guess it's not impossible. I mean, look, it's only been a day. I doubt whoever did this would have had time to sell them that quickly. There's still time to get them back. My guess is they would have brought your stuff to the Undercity. <laughs> no, you can't go alone. Cupcake, have you even been to the Undercity? Do you even know how to get there? Okay, fine. And what about once you get there? What, are you just gonna walk around and just start asking strangers where you can buy stolen goods? I'm sure that'll go well. Let me come with you. Okay, and what do you care about more? What the head councilman says, or getting your stuff back? Look, you're not gonna get far without me. Just let me come with you. I can protect you while you're down there and show you where to look. We won't get caught. Just dress low-key, and we'll be in and out. Is that a yes? Alright, bet. We'll meet in town after I'm finished with my chores for the day. Just make sure you wear a hood dress down so nobody recognizes you. See you later. What the, What are you wearing? I told you to dress low-key. This is what you call low-key? Oh my goddess. Well, you failed then. This ain't it, G. You don't look poor. You look poverty chic. You think people in the Undercity are walking around in rags this nice? Come here. What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm putting some of my poverty on your posh. <laughs> Wait, nope. That didn't sound right. Uh, okay, look, y y you know what I mean. Look, just get over here, in this alley, before somebody sees you. All right, first things first, we gotta do something about these robes. Hey, do you wanna visit the Undercity or not? Okay then, stop complaining. You're rich, aren't you? You can go get new clothes. <clears throat> there we go, that's a little better. Just make sure you keep that hood on. Now, show me your neck. So I can put this on you. <laughs> of course I'm not gonna use it on you. I mean, not, not unless you want me to, but... <laughs> look, everyone knows I'm a slave, but you? We gotta make this look legit. Do you wanna blend in or not? Okay then, show me your neck. Okay, now let me take a look at you. Turn around. Alright, okay, there we go. Now we're slaving. Alright, let's do this. Follow me. Watch your step.
Remember, do not look at anyone. Do not talk to anyone. Do not draw any unnecessary attention. Just follow my lead and stay low key. Got it? Hey, nope, get lost. I, I Cupcake, no, no. Just ignore him. Keep it moving. <laughs> Cupcake, that guy is not poor. He probably makes more than half the topsiders. He saw you and he marked you as somebody he could scam. Look, if anyone tries to stop you in the street, ignore them. Now, you see those people there? They are poor. What, are you just gonna give each one of them something too? Even you're not that rich. There's nothing you can do for them. A few copper pieces or whatever you wanted to give isn't going to make much of a difference. Why do you even care so much? You're a noble. These people have no effect on your life in any way. Well, now isn't the time to play the Queen of Hearts, all right? What did you come here for? Do you want to get your stuff back or not? Then stay focused. Hey, wait. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. That was mean. I apologize. Now, what in the goddess's name are you doing down here? Nope, you already saw me. Quick, just act like you don't know me. Go! You know what, Captain? I'm gonna throw that question back at you. Why are you here? Don't you have some topsider boots that need licking? Seriously, why are you down here harassing people? There's a woman I've got my eye on. A noble. But before I make a move, I might need to raise my station a bit. Captain of the guard doesn't sound too bad. All I have to do to make it happen is start keeping a tight leash on you, Lord. Oh, Aww, so you're being an asshole for love. How romantic. What'd you say to me, Will? Go ahead. Try it. I don't belong to the city anymore. I have an owner. Hit me, and you're damaging property that's not yours. That's a crime. Not when their property is violating the law himself. A councilman informed me that you were to be cut off from the embassy. I'm here under the direct orders of my master. And why would a noble even? Some ingredients for a potion she was working on were stolen. Now my guess is they're here in the embassy, so she sent me to find them. Is that right? Stolen potion ingredients. Who exactly was the one who stole them? I don't know. Mm. That's what I'm here to find out. I see your shop is back on. Seems her grace finally came to the senses. What? Does that upset you? Did you think that you were special to me? That she viewed you as anything other than a slave? Criminal. Are you sure you don't already know what those potions are? Are you gonna let me go or not? You're free to go. I won't arrest you now. But I do think I'll assume you as you were. Nope, I'm fine. We don't have to talk about it. Let's just put some distance between us and him before he finds us again. Hey, you hungry? There's no point in running ourselves ragged on empty stomachs. Let's sit down and eat. We'll work more effectively that way. Here, this is it. Two mystery specials. This way, please. Yeah, I used to eat at this place all the time when I was a kid. Here you go, Warren. Thanks. <clears throat> well, eat up. Mm hmm. Mm, this is good, isn't it? Pop as a gift. You would never know this was on somebody else's plate yesterday. <laughs> See, now that's the fun part. You never know what it is. Pop takes the leftovers from up top, and then he combines whatever they throw away into something new. <laughs> you okay? What, are you not gonna finish? All right, your loss. Hand that over. <laughs> yes, sir. We don't waste food down here. Come on. Hmm. 
Thank you, Pop. Oh, and if anybody asks, I wasn't here. So, I've been meaning to ask you again. Why were you so upset yesterday after your speech? <laughs> Girl, I am not sweating you at all. You don't have to tell me. I already know. Yeah, I do. Well, I might not know the specifics, but I'm pretty sure I got the gist of what went down. Okay, so, you probably wanted something, right? Okay, and then I'm sure you gave your big speech about what it was you wanted, and you tried getting through to them by being nice and appealing to their sense of reason and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. And then they shut you down. And that's why you came home yesterday throwing a tantrum. Am I close? <laughs> yeah, I knew it. And now you just made yourself look weak in front of the whole council. Look, I told you, Cupcake, you're not gonna get anywhere being that nice. And you can't just play your hand like that. You gotta learn how to finesse people. Look, we can talk about that later. Let's stay focused on why we're here. Anyways, about your ingredients. Whoever stole your stuff would need to find a buyer with two things. One is access to Steelgate and the Undercity, and two, a lot of money. We're going to a place where people have all of those things. gathering information. I told you, your perp has access and money. That's what you're gonna find here. Sheltered nobles looking for a thrill come down here all the time. I'm sure we can find something that'll get us a lead. Ah, wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? You can't just start questioning people out of the blue. You want another repeat of your first council meeting? I told you, you gotta finesse. <sighs> oh my goddess, you are such a princess. Look, what I mean is you expect people to just hand you what you want. The world doesn't work like that. If you want people to do stuff for you, then you've gotta make them think you can do something for them. <laughs> Cupcake. How do you think you ended up becoming a noble? Hmm? It wasn't because they were recognizing your accomplishments. They elevated you because your science helps them. That's how it works. Look, I think you should leave all the questions about your stolen potions to me. Because we only get one shot at this. We can't risk spooking the thief because you don't know enough about the Undercity to even know what questions to ask. Just leave it to me. Well, that doesn't mean there's nothing you can do. You're still trying to win over the Noble Council, aren't you? Alright. Well, this place is crawling with nobles. Why don't you try working a few of them over? See what you can find out. It's easy. You can get absolutely anyone to do absolutely anything if you make them think you have what they want. Now, obviously, everyone here wants one thing. And believe me, Cupcake. You definitely have it. Hey, no. None of that. What you tell yourself is what is. Now, if you walk around here acting all shy and timid, then that's what people are gonna think. But if you tell yourself you're the hottest thing to ever walk the earth, then trust me, people are gonna believe it. Warren, what are you doing here? Are you perhaps looking for a job? <laughs> Not a job, Madam Michaela, just information. I was hoping we could talk for a bit. You want to... 
talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, just talk. All right then. And what about your pretty friend? You know what? Now she was actually considering a career change. Maybe you could uh, help her get started. Oh, were you now? <laughs> yes, she was. <laughs> Perfect. We're in desperate need of help right now. If this is work you think you can handle, then you can start right now. Here, come, come. You got this, Cupcake. Just show them what they want. <laughs> I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, my dear. All of our girls are very busy tonight, but as promised, I brought a special one just for you. This one's kind of shy. Probably a topsider. Go easy on her, will ya? Okay, now, one. What did you really want to discuss? Oh, well, hi, I'm... Well, I guess I shouldn't really tell you my name, should I? Uh, <laughs> sorry, this is uh, my first time doing this type of thing. When the madam said she'd bring me someone pretty, I can see she wasn't lying. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no one's ever called me that before. <clears throat> uh, should... Should we get to know each other first, or should we just get into it? Oh, oh, is that how this normally works? Oh, okay, that's fine. Me? Well, we don't have to talk about me. What about you? How long have you lived in the Undercity? Really? Your whole life? That's amazing. Uh, oh, it's it's nothing. It's just you moved closer to me. Oh, no, I I don't mind. You can get closer if you want to. So, who are some of the more interesting people you've met working here? Warren the Gladiator. Really? Do you know him? What's he like? I had no idea he was from the Undercity. You must meet so many interesting people every day. Oh, stop. You don't mean that. I'm... I'm nothing special. No, really. I'm nobody. I... 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 Well, this is my first time visiting the Undercity. I'd never left Steelgate before today. Yeah, really. Um, I guess I got tired of not knowing. Of always being told what I should do. <laughs> Uh, no, it's just you're really close and really pretty. I'm f uh, no, I'm f I'm fine. I liked it. Was it really that obvious? Okay, fine. But you have to promise not to say anything. Yes, I am a noble. Well, my husband is. I guess. <sighs> to be honest, being a noble isn't nearly as exciting as it sounds. Not really as exciting as this. <laughs> 
Oh. Well, he's... Oh. I don't know if I should tell you. Oh. My. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. His name's Walton Payne. And he's on the Noble Council. And he doesn't know that I'm in the Undercity. Underneath a pretty girl. Not that finding out would damage him in any way. Other than his reputation, perhaps. Oh, my husband is a complete narcissist. All he cares about is what others think of him. Yes. And, on top of that, he's so controlling. He can't function if he's not in charge of every little thing. If it's not him, then it's our slaves constantly watching everything I do. Coming down to the Undercity was an experience, to say the least. This isn't normally where I'd associate myself, but... If you want to thrill yourself for an evening, you have to get out of your comfort zone. Oh, and I'm very glad I did. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this evening. So, should we, uh, get things started? Hey, I got what we needed. Let's head out. Wait, what's going on? I thought we were... two hours. Look, and I'm sure you'll enjoy every second of it, sweetheart. It's just not gonna be with her. Come on. Wait, I'm so confused. Is this a- Madam Michaela. Good evening, warden. Uh, quick, uh, hide in here. As you can probably see, we're a little backed up this evening. Oh, I'm not here to be entertained. <laughs> I've got a warrant to search the place. Again? This is the third time this month, Warden. What do you expect to find that you missed the first two times? Oh, you know, madam. With police work, you can never be too thorough. Warden, I understand you have a warrant, but I must insist that you don't disturb my clients during their private time. And I'm afraid I must be more Warden, please. <laughs> Nothing here. What do you want? Do not sully my honor with your foul presence. Ah, shoot, he's coming here next. Here, put this over your head. Try to hide your face. Hey, shut up. Just play along. My apologies, sir. I'll let you get back to your evening. Mm -hmm. Like everything's above board. If you can say that much about a distant establishment. Like it. <laughs> okay. Until next time. <sighs> that was too close. There's no way him searching here was a coincidence. So, how'd it go with you? Did you find out anything useful from that lady? Oh, look at you, smooth operator. All right, you can tell me all about it later. For now, let's just get out of here. Michaela gave me a tip on where your stuff might be. Come on. I gotta say, I'm proud of you, Cupcake. You're doing way better than I expected. Yeah, I see topsiders come down here all the time trying to live out some rebellious fantasy. And it never works out too well for them. You survived the food, you know who to trust, or I guess at least who not to trust. And hey, you even found a nice little side hustle. <laughs> hey, relax, relax, I'm just kidding. But I mean, for real, if you wanted to, you... Look, I'm just saying. I was watching for a bit there. I saw you. You had that lady eating out of the palm of your hand. 
And that stuff she told you about her husband? That's crazy. Even I didn't know that about Lord Payne, so... Nice job. He's on the council with you, isn't he? Oh, well, you should remember what she told you then. It's good to have a little dirt on people. Well, actually, seeing as where you met his wife, I'd say you have more than a little dirt on him. Yeah, I was able to find out some stuff too. Nah, I don't know where your stuff is exactly, but the madam linked me up with someone who might. Yeah, we just need to wait here. Hmm? Did you say something? You know, you ask a lot of questions, Cupcake. <sighs> Fine. I guess you earned the answer to at least one of them. This is where I grew up. Well, me and a bunch of other kids from the Undercity. I guess you could kinda call it an orphanage. Uh, my mom was a slave before I was born, and she got sold when I was really young. And my dad... He's... dead. <laughs> it's, it's cool. I'm over it. And, uh, yeah, well... Thankfully, you can't be born a slave. That only comes as punishment for committing a crime. Unfortunately for my mom, that meant she had to make a choice. Either take us with her and doom us to her life, or leave us and give us a shot at having a life. Mm-hmm. Very selfless. But I guess in the end, it didn't matter. Look where I am now. <laughs> Warren, is that you? <sighs> hey, Uncle Phil. By the goddess. Get your ass over here, kid. I missed you. I missed you too, boy. I can't believe it. When the slavers took you, I, I thought that was it. But then I started seeing you everywhere. <laughs> Mr. Celebrity over here. I never thought I'd see you down here again. Hey, of course I'd find a way back. We're family. Hey, Cupcake, this is Phil. He's my uncle. Well, not my real uncle, but he's an uncle to all the kids he looked after here. Yeah, right. Nice to meet you, uh... Don't tell me your parents really named you Cupcake. Who exactly are you? She's a slave. A slave? She don't look like any slave I've seen before. She, uh... Hey, don't sweat it, kid. It's not my business. My lips are sealed. I'm just happy to see you again. <sighs> yeah. Me too, uncle. But look, I... I didn't just come over here for the reunion. The madam told you what I was looking for, didn't she? Yeah, she did. And? Do you have any idea where I could find it? <sighs> look, if, if you know anything, okay, I, I don't care how small, please tell me. I'm sorry, kid. I don't. Yeah, nah. It's alright. I'll keep looking. Come on, Cupcake, let's go. Wait! Your brother was here, kid. Really? Then where is he now? But he was taken by some guards up top. A few months ago. Taken? <laughs> some guards caught him pit-pocketing some topsiders and they took him away. A slave? Wh Warren. W what do you mean he's a Warren. slave? How did that even happen? I thought you were watching him. I was looking after him. Just like I do the rest of these kids. But come on, Warren. You know your little brother. I told him to lay low, but he wanted to help provide for everyone down here. And you let him? Where is he now? What? Where is he? Who was he sold to? I don't know. He was never auctioned off. I didn't let it get that far. I did the best I could for him. The night he was supposed to be handed over, I had some of the boys smuggle him out the city. He's free now, but he had to get far away from Steelgate. I have no clue where he went. I'm sorry, kid. Is this what you call finding stolen goods? Phil, run! Visiting your old home. Oh, Your master's gonna love hearing about what her slave's been up to behind her back. And who's this? I knew I saw someone here with you earlier, Worm. Hey, who are you? What? Your Grace? What are you doing down in the Undercity? I told you before, this ain't no place for someone of your station. D did this Worm force you to come down here? I'm sorry about this. I should have broken him in for you better. Don't worry. Soon as the head councilman hears about this, we'll be correcting I'll that mistake. I'll your asses in the dungeon. Want me to do it again? <coughs> oh. 
touch me again. Is that right? You. Ah, you came down here of your own free will. And what exactly, if I might ask, would your reason be? <coughs> <laughs> Is that really what he told you? Send him topside. Make sure he doesn't come back Off down. Me. I'm afraid I can't do that. Your slave went against the direct order of the head councilman. Your grace, that worm isn't looking for your stolen property. Because he's the one who stole it. I've had a few of my guards keeping an eye on war in these past few days. Last night they caught him selling a few shiny looking vials on the black market. Can you guess where he got them from? Don't believe me. One purple, one green, one black. Those are the ones. Tell me then, what leads has Warren come up with in the entire day you two have been down here? And were you there when he spoke to the madam? Didn't think so. Your grace, he tricked you. He was never looking for your stolen potions because he's the one who stole them, then sold them off. He was down here searching for his younger brother. I tried warning you. This is what the people who live down here are. Every single one of them. Liars. Thieves. Now, Your Grace, allow me to escort you back topside. starting to get nervous. Wait, where are you going? Okay, dang, let's go then. So, how did things go with Head Ape of the Guard? Anything interesting? Are you alright? You're not in trouble, are you? Are you just gonna keep ignoring me? Cupcake. Cupcake. Cupcake, what are you... How'd you find out about that? <laughs> Screw it. Yeah, it was me. Wait. Do you smell that? No, I'm not trying to change the subject, seriously. That's smoke. Yo, what the hell? Is that your house? Hey, no! What are you doing? You can't go in there. What? No, this wasn't me! I turned off all your experiments before we left. Yeah, well, you were the last one there. Wait. Look. Just, yeah, no kidding, your place is on fire. But look. Look at the way it's burning. It's only the bottom floor. The top where your apartment is, that part is fine. That means nothing in your apartment caused the fire. It happened on the ground floor. Somebody did this on purpose. We need to go. It's not safe here. Come on. Look, you can be mad at me later. Let's just go. I know a place we can lay low. At least for the night. Yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. Do you have any idea what time it is? Hey! Uh, hello. You probably don't remember me. Um, I was here a few months ago, looking for a book. 
I introduced you to my master. Oh, right, right. Uh, Warren, was it? Yep. Hey, glad you remember. Good to see you again. Um, uh, Lord Reyes. Lord Reyes. Right. I knew that. Yes, but you can just call me Reyes. And thank you, Your Grace, for letting me have that book. The recipient really appreciated the gift. Of course, if that's all, then thank you for stopping by. Wait, Reyes. Look, I, I know we don't know each other well, but could we possibly stay here for the night? Stay here? Doesn't she have her own place to stay? Uh, we did, but it just burned down. Long story. But anyway, can you put us up for a night, please? Well, if your first resort is coming to a foreign student you barely know for help, you must not have many options. Come in. And follow me. You can stay in the guest room. Here you are. Thanks, Reyes. You're a real homie for this one. Right. I do have to be up early, so do try not to make too much noise. <laughs> Look, before you even start, we don't need to talk about it, okay? Yes, I did it. Because my brother's missing, that's why. <sighs> Fine, you want the truth? <clears throat> the master I had before you made a deal that if I kept winning in the gladiator pits, they'd give me some of that money to make sure my brother was taken care of. They lied. I found out, and I hit him. Hard. Not long after, I got sold. Whatever. Gifted to you. I tried going down to the Undercity to find my brother. Nobody had seen him. That was months ago. All this time, he's still been missing. So, yeah. I stole your stuff, and I used the money to hire a tracker to figure out what happened to him. Since I couldn't go alone, I tricked you into coming with me. The tracker led me to Michaela... And she led me to Phil. That's it. No, I'm not sorry, and yes, I'd do it again. <laughs> because you were about to do the same thing. <laughs> yes, you were. Okay, I, I, I saw it happening again. I remember I had a master. One of the first I was sold to. She, you know, she was kind and sweet. At least on the outside. Insisted that she was different. And she did stuff like take off my collar, give me good food. She even... <sighs> Doesn't matter. She didn't mean it. As soon as the head councilman got in her ear, she slapped that collar right back on. The next thing you know, I was at the auction again. Tell me, does that sound familiar to you, Master? You topsiders. You nobles are all the same. You're all cruel assholes. I'm gonna be a slave for the rest of my life. I've made my peace with that. I can't own anything, or marry anyone. I can't leave Steelgate, and I'm way too famous to ever have a chance of escaping. All I can do is fight. But now, the one person who loved me, the one person I was fighting for, he, he's gone. The only ones left in my life are the people who are going to end up betraying me. I'm fighting for nothing. <laughs> Seriously, if, if this is my life, then I, 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 I don't want to live it anymore. No, stop, stop. Just stop. Is this what they teach you people? 
build them up so it hurts more when you tear them down? You know what I mean. Taking off my collar. The way you'd get excited telling me about your experiments. Like, you, you talk to me like you actually care about what I think. The way you lay on top of me and hold me when we were in bed watching movies. I mean, that, that whole time, I knew you were being fake. I knew you were just living out whatever weird fantasy savior complex you got going on. But still, part of me was hoping that maybe it was real. I guess I just don't learn. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Hmm. Then why did you put the collar back on? Hmm? What are you doing? No, if you break that, they'll know. <sighs> what did you do that for? Hmm. That's what you said before. And then you changed your mind. You talk a big game, but how much longer till you change your mind again? Huh? I lied to you. I stole from you. Why haven't you had me arrested or sent back to the pits? And what about your apartment? You know that wasn't an accident. The head councilman did that to you because of me. You're telling me you're willing to forgive all of that. And how do I know you're being real? Your speech at the council meeting? What about it? I thought you said you couldn't tell me about that. What? You're... you're lying. That's what your... that's what your speech was about. Anti-slavery reform? <laughs> no wonder the council shot you down. That's crazy. Just thinking that in front of them, let alone saying it, that's... You were being serious. Cupcake, I am so sorry. Look, I didn't know. J just, just please let me explain, okay? I, I didn't know. Before last night, me and you were good. Okay, I promise, there was nothing going on before that. I just... I've had some bad experiences with my previous masters. So when you started acting all weird during the movie and you put the collar back on, I spiraled. I was already stressed out about my brother, and I guess that contributed to it, okay? It, ma it made it worse. I did something really dumb, and I'm sorry, okay? Look, from the day you brought me to your apartment, I thought you were playing me, okay? It, it, it has happened to me so many times before. I didn't think you'd be any different. But even then, part of me was almost okay to let myself get played again. Because those few months living with you was the happiest I've been in a long time. No, look at me. I mean it. Okay? I'm sorry. Look. I'm so sorry for lying to you and for stealing from you. But I just want you to know that everything that came before that was real. I know I broke your trust and I know it's gonna take some time, but if you're not too mad at me, I wanna try to get back to where we were. Do you think you can do that? Hey, what are you?
so can we... <laughs> well, I mean, I've kind of gotten used to it over the past few months. I think it's about the only way I can actually get to sleep at this point. What? <laughs> I thought we were being honest now. Well... Thanks, Cupcake. It's almost morning. Tomorrow's gonna be crazy. Let's get some rest.